The wiles of the devil, okay. But against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So he let them know where it at. It's in this world. Yeah. That's why he said you in the world, but you're not of the world. If I'm of the world, then I'm, I'm going to be defeated. But I'm not of the world. I'm of him. So I'm a spirit. So I got to realize I must trust the spirit man within me. Amen. Trust within, not out. Yeah. My yeah. God, thank you. Within, trusting within, not the outward. <laughs> Many people are trusting the outward and not the inward man. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. So you be able to what? Stand. Withstand. Only way we can withstand is with the inner man. Amen. Not the outer man. Because hallelujah, the outer man will actually, weak. <laughs> is weak. Yes, yes. The outer man is, can't take what the inner man can take. That's the outer man will end up, you be doing the same thing. That <laughs> the fight, the battle within you with somebody else and you will lose the battle because you're fighting with the flesh. Amen. Amen. I like that he said against power, against the rule of darkness of this world. So you can't fight principality in the natural. Because he understands natural things. Because you looked at when we saw Sunday, what was he trying to offer with Jesus? Natural things. Glory to God. So, so I can't fight natural. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. So verse 13, where I want to get to. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to withstand in the evil day. So I like that. That's what I got, withstand evil. Well, I'm going to take unto you the whole arm of God. So I got to take the word as it says. Mm -hmm. I can't uh, divide the word. I can't add to the word. I got to take it just like it said. Take the whole arm of God. Ooh, which is taking the whole arm of the Spirit of God within, which is the Holy Ghost. Amen. That ye may be able to withstand. That you, and the only way you're gonna be able to stand within is in the spirit. Yes. Amen. I, 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 what's something you don't went through and you thought you couldn't make it? And you realize when you turn it loose and you know that you release it to the Lord and it made you to withstand it. That you can go withstand it without uh what say going backwards or giving up, stopping. See, I want, that's what the, the motives of the evil one want you to stop. If you stop, then you stop the purpose of God. Yes. See, that's what he was trying to do with Jesus. Mm -hmm. He was trying to stop Jesus' purpose. Mm -hmm. See, my, whoo, Lord, hi, I have the Holy Ghost. Amen. And that's what he trying to do me. Yes. He trying to stop. Yes. The purpose of the vision that yes. God then gave me yes. for this city. Amen. Amen. See, that's why you got that let you know you're more valuable. He ain't worried about them other ones. He worried about those that's willing to withstand. Amen. That's why he come at you more because you you withstand. Amen. You ain't throw your towel in. Amen. You ain't stop praying. You ain't stop going to church. You ain't stop moving, you know. Amen. Amen. Oh, my God. We're staying. Boy, I done wish there's some stuff in this city. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I was sitting there today in the house, and, and my sister, and I, I felt tired, and I felt bored. Mm -hmm. I, really, I was real bored today. But I stayed in that my sister left. I said, I said, how you feel? I said, I'm tired. I'm Amen. bored. Mm -hmm. And I felt that. Mm -hmm. I really felt bored. Like, mm -hmm. and then you know, and I said, uh-uh. I'm gonna still move. I'm Amen. still going. 
See, you going to go through this thing. You hear what I'm saying? I don't want you to see. But you got to press your way through it anyway. See the thing? Come on. See, some people don't press their way through. They they fall into that mold of where the flesh feet. See, but I have to what? Withstand. See, I ain't ashamed to tell folks. Hey. Amen. See, I'm telling you so. I get that too. Amen. So don't, how about folks though? I, he come at me the same way he come at me. Amen. Amen. So I had to do with staying in what? Evil days. You got to know what days you eat. These are evil days. When you say that, come on. I was, uh, it was just in my mind. I said, can I have a glass of, this is what I was thinking. Uh -huh. I said, can I have a glass of wine? So my mama helped uh, Reverend Thompson. I don't know if y'all know who he is. And I was, he was in the car, and I was in the car, and I asked him about it. I said, well, it's wine in the Bible. Mm -hmm. I said, but was it alcohol in the wine? And then I said, but then it makes me think, was it just the, you know how you just mash grapes and just make mm -hmm. the wine out of it? So I had a question, so he went into that, and it just kept bothering me. And then I said, no, I'm not going to do it. I've been doing so good. Mm -hmm. You know, I just kept mm -hmm. telling my mind that. And then later on that day, Somebody came to me and said, here, here's two uh, frozen margaritas. In the, in the, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. And then Brady brought it to me as somebody that go to church was mm -hmm. giving it to me. Mm -hmm. And I just, I took it and I said, okay. She said, put these in the freezer for me. So I put them in the freezer, but I didn't touch them. I uh -huh. said, this is a test. Yeah, because they had been on my mind. Uh -huh. And then for the end of the day, for somebody to come back and put it back in front of me, and then put somebody in front of me that I knew, uh -huh. you know, was going to church. Uh -huh. I said, this is a test. I'm not going to do that. And no sooner than I didn't do that, the thing, it went away. Your flesh desired it. Mm -hmm. But your inner man overpowered mm -hmm. the flesh man. Mm -hmm. So when the enemy said, well, let me hurry and get somebody to bring it to you. Mm -hmm. To bring it and offer it to mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. In your face. That's like you did Jesus. You know, he kept Jesus all up there. Yeah. When you desire that wine, so he said, I'm going to hurry and give it to her. Mm -hmm. So she got, that'll quench her flesh, but it really did nothing to your spirit man. Mm -hmm. But you passed the test. Amen. You withstood. Amen. See, that's why you got to get in the place. I don't care how the moment of so much oppressing you, mm -hmm. you can't let it oppress till you reach and get another out of God. That's right. See, because if you had a got that out of God mm -hmm. of that wine, then every time you look, you've been reaching back at that God. Mm -hmm. Every time you go on the first, you look. You're not looking at him. You're looking at the the wine, the the ease of ease your mind. Yes. You see, mm -hmm. it is it not easy. What it did, it would add more pressure on you. Mm -hmm. Amen. I like that's good. That's a good testimony. Amen. God showed you what the enemy would do, so you you got yeah, to. Yeah, and the way you just you know you just explained it to me, mm -hmm. it happened just like that. Mm -hmm. And it was just I was battling that in my mind. Mm -hmm. To even I went up and asked a question to another uh, to the Reverend Thompson mm -hmm. about it, but I just let it go. But I the way I was battling like versus somebody that go to church and somebody that don't and mm -hmm. then brought it to me that way. Yeah. It just kind of was like right. you know, yep. trying to make me say, look, it's all right. Mm -hmm. She could. This person goes to another church or that church and they uh -huh. do it, you know, it's yep. just like, you know. <laughs> but see, and that's that's the difference. That's why I'm uh, saying it what you what you believe is opposite than what she believes. Mm -hmm. And see, your belief was that you don't want to defile the temple of the Spirit of God. So what the enemy did was brought another Christian mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In front of you, cause she do it, that don't mean you have to do it, cause that ain't the way you believe. Mm -hmm. yeah, as I'm making sense, mm -hmm. see everybody got their own belief, mm -hmm. but some people believe it different than other believers. Where you believe that it would defile you, but to her she don't. Mm -hmm. Then when Paul said, 
If I defend, I won't eat meat. Mm. See, but and but if you and no sin to them if they don't come to the knowledge of, mm. but see to you it's been sin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. So thank God showed you that Amen. mess that pre Sunday you lived in Amen. <laughs> today. Amen. 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 That you may be able to withstand in the evil day and have done all. So you went through all of that, but have you done all to stand? See, that's amazing. It even got put in your hand. Yeah. <laughs> now, I mean, it was in your face. You know, it's just like, yeah. Yeah. And I carried it too, Priest. <laughs> I put but, it in there. But you know, but you withstood it. Mm -hmm. You stood what you believed. It wasn't here. They see, it wasn't. In the, it, it wasn't what it was. The change was in the heart, but the evil part of that wasn't in her heart, like you said. Yeah. See, it was in your thoughts, but it hadn't hit the heart. Yeah, cause the heart is once God changed the heart, you ain't gonna see it. If the heart hit, if God word hit your heart hard enough, yes, you right. ain't gonna be quick to see. That's, 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 that's a good, that's a blessed, that's a blessed testimony there. Mm -hmm. I wish some more was in here to hear it. Amen. 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 That's Amen. a good testimony. And that let you know you can withstand a whole lot. Amen. You got the, the withstand power is him. Amen. That's when he said, oh, you, he, I think right when he said, stand still and know that I'm God. Amen. That's good. That's a blessing right there. You're strong. That give me a <laughs> uh -huh. Against spiritual wickedness in high places. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And thank God that the the wickedness. See, people don't really believe that some the wickedness sometimes is in the house of God. Amen. Yes. 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 Amen. Yes, Everybody sitting in the church ain't. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. They don't have that type of mind like mm -mm. that. Mm -mm. Amen. But thank God. Amen. That your frame of thought of God is totally honorable. Amen. And you withstood like your other brother Jesus. Mm -hmm. I did not eat the bread. <laughs> Amen. 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 Okay. Let's go to 2 Corinthians chapter 10, 1 through 4. Are you talking to us by standing, we're standing. It's amazing how you stand against something that would call you to have victory, but if you don't can't stand, you lose lose ground. Mm -hmm. So you didn't lose ground. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like it would just open up another door for something else. Yes, that it would have. And you you shot that though quick and you know, yeah. 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 You, didn't, you, didn't let, you didn't open no door. Amen. Amen. Now look what Paul will tell us. What uh, Second Corinthians chapter ten, one through four. And that people gotta be very careful about your gate. How you open up to people? Yeah. Sure. You open the gate. Yeah. Somebody yeah. come talking stuff. You negative yeah. stuff. You open the gates so, It'll, it'll mess you up. Amen. Amen. You have to be very careful. Amen. All right, look what Paul will tell us. Now I, Paul, myself beseech you by the meekness and gentleness of Christ, who in presence am based among you, mm -hmm. but being absent and bold toward you. Mm -hmm. But I beseech you that I may not be bold when I am present with you. That confidence. Mm, see, he ain't he ain't boasting in himself. Mm -hmm. See, Paul at the time was a person that he did a lot of boasting, mm -hmm. but now he boasting in God. Mm -hmm. Amen. See, now you uh, when you testify that you won't be boasting in yourself, you be boasting in God, mm -hmm. and God get to what the mm -hmm. glory out of. Now look what Paul telling us. Wherewith I think to be bold against some which think of us as if we walked according to the flesh. See, see at the time he was walking according to what? His flesh. Mm -hmm. See, see, that's where we, that's a lot of times people do a lot of boasting and 
saying this and that, they I talking did, and getting with boasting in themselves. Yeah, I did this, mm -hmm. I done this, I ain't done nothing. Mm -hmm. That's what Paul said. He he quit boasting in himself. He had confidence in himself. He was boasting by himself at first. But after he got converted, mm -hmm. amen, his thought changed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Cause you built <laughs> He would tear Christians up. Yeah, he was. But now look at his guy. He said, I was in the flesh at the time. I can't boast in the flesh no more. Now look what he did. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. See what he said? Although you walking in the flesh, but you don't war in the flesh. So you got to know the difference. You got to know when you're in the flesh. When you're in the spirit, he said, for we, now you you in the flesh, you walking in the flesh, but <laughs> though we walk in the flesh, we do not walk after the flesh. So I don't walk after the flesh, like he said today, the enemy warned with her that about a, a, some wine, but you didn't war, you, you have to war there. Amen. But she won the battle because she did not take the wine. So, the spirit man override the flesh. Amen. So he can control your flesh. Mm -hmm. yes, yes. If you want it, control. Yes. Yes. Amen. So Paul is telling you, but though we walk in the flesh, he telling you, but you in the flesh. Yes. We do not walk after the flesh. So I shouldn't, I shouldn't want to keep desire of the flesh. Amen. 